day students. I hope you can see and hear me well. Today we're going to have another lecture brief of a lecture that we have covered before. So today we're going to cover the lecture of the course, which is called Infrastructure, Restaurant and Hotel Businesses. I'm the lecturer, Dorijan Siftaj Bermuhanov. And today we're going to cover the topic of the week 10, which was planning and designing a restaurant infrastructure. Uh, during this lecture brief, we're going to focus on the restaurant infrastructure. Planning and designing basics were covered during the other lecture. That is why that is going to be our focus. Uh, the lecture outline is not going to be the usual one. Uh, as you remember, usually we had an overview of the previous lecture at the beginning, then we covered the lecture itself. And at the end of the lecture, we had an assignment. This time we're going to uh, strictly and directly go to the new lecture. And at the end of the lecture, I'm going to give you an assignment. So today we're going to talk about uh, the planning and designing a restaurant infrastructure. Uh, basically, we're going to focus on the restaurant infrastructure and we're going to uh, define them. We're going to talk uh, what is important and what to focus on. But first, let's talk about the uh, definition of a restaurant. So restaurant uh, refers to an eatery. Uh, basically, it is a business that prepares and serves food and drinks to customers. Uh, we have talked about different types of like eateries and the places that uh, like serve food and beverage. With that, that restaurant is basically the place that provides like fine dining, yeah, like all the courses of like food. Uh, the other places like bars, they provide like most alcoholic beverages. Uh, the cafe like provide 50-50 food and beverages and the receipt usually consists the like equal share of them. Uh, the other places like coffee houses, uh, they have like coffee actually is the main uh, like thing that you see and buy there. Uh, like tavern, they can have like wine as the key uh, product that takes the largest amount of the like product. But today we talk about restaurants and we talk about the full dining. That is basically the organization that provides everything. They sell wine, they sell food, uh, they sell uh, like the other things, yeah, different appetizers, different courses, etc. So today we're going to talk about the infrastructure. Uh, the word restaurant comes from French and it means meant like restore and revive. At first it was used as the term like restorative beverage. Uh, that is because during those times uh, drinking uh, water was not so safe. That is why they used to used to drink uh, like alcoholic beverages. They were way safer to drink. Nowadays, of course, it is not the case. And in 1521, a restaurant started to mean like the place that restores the strength, physical strength by uh, food and etc. Uh, usually, restaurant consists of the following arrangement: uh, entrance, dining room, bar, kitchen, restroom, and electrical services. Here I'd like to mention that not all restaurants have bars. Bar is kind of an independent uh, like place that to go. But uh, most restaurants that have bars use the bar as one of those attractions that kind of make the place more pleasant to the guests. Uh, electrical services uh, kind of refer to the places where and which manage uh, like IT equipment, like places of sale, terminals, uh, the music, and etc. And so uh, later we're going to talk about every uh, like arrangement separately. Uh, when we talk, when we design like the space of a restaurant, we should focus on five things. First, we should focus on the anthropometrical factors that are uh, about the factors that are uh, like related to the human, yeah? how the human acts, how the human moves and etc. Ergonometric, so it should be kind of comfortable uh, circulation. It's about the 
place where circulates food, people, employees, and uh, guests, and methods of service. Yeah, we know that we have different methods of service, and we should include that in the uh, design. Uh, for example, the buffet, yeah, where we have like self-service or assisted service. It should be designed in a different way than, for example, a restaurant where we give like full service. Uh, then, of course, we should uh, mention the dimension of the given space. Uh, when we talk about hotels, usually uh, the management of the hotel uh, start designing from the beginning. But when we talk about restaurants, usually uh, the people who will use and manage the restaurant are not those people who uh, kind of design the space. So we have the given space and then we kind of start thinking about how to use that and how to manage it and how to uh, circulate it. Uh, later, uh, now we need to focus on the features that make the design of a hotel efficient. So the first thing we should focus on is the human comfort. So the human, the guests should feel comfortable in there. Uh, thermal comfort and indoor air quality. That is very important because uh, when we go to the restaurant, we do not just go to have uh, like to eat food, but also we go there to have nice time to feel good in there. And the price of that is included to the price of the food. And the thing that is uh, responsible for keeping like uh, the thermal comfort is called HVAC, which is all about heating, ventilation and air conditioning. We're going to cover that uh, in a different lecture. Then we have lighting. Lighting is very important and actual lighting is part of electrical services, yeah, including sound, uh, music, as I said, uh, post terminals and the others, and also the lighting is part of that. So lighting sets the mood, yeah, and we should uh, kind of remember that. Acoustics, yeah, so the music, whenever we hear music, and we should make sure that every uh, like thing in a restaurant should be uh, like sound absorbing. Uh, we know that uh, most restaurants are located in the like inhabited area where we have like people who live in there. And that is why we don't want to make much noise. And as we know, the noise, especially during the night that uh, produced by the restaurant, they make uh, the tenants, the people who live around very nervous and unhappy and that may cause a lot of trouble that is why uh, sound absorbing qualities should be provided to every uh, thing in a restaurant especially when we uh, like lay out walls ceiling and the floor uh, like optimum utilization of sitting and smooth circulation so we should make sure that uh, the number of tables is uh, enough to generate revenue to make sure that uh, the restaurant makes a lot of enough money, but also we should have uh, enough space left so that the service, the uh, waiters, the uh, busters and food runners will have enough space to walk around. And of course, the safety concerns. Safety is paramount. Yeah, so whenever we design a space, we should make sure that we have uh, entrance, we have the places like for evacuation, yeah, we have enough uh, water in any case, we have uh, firefighters, for example, uh, telephones, we have every equipment set inside. So uh, the safety concerns should be uh, like mentioned and reminded during the design of a restaurant. And now we can uh, talk about different arrangements yeah, of uh, the restaurant. And the first one is the entrance. Entrance is basically the first thing we see. And that is why entrance is responsible for the first impression. And the first impression is always important. Yeah. So uh, here we have an example yeah, of uh, the entrance. So entrance should be able to draw people in and make them feel immediately comfortable. Uh, also, entrance is kind of the thing that advertises the place yeah, from outside. Uh, well maintained and easy to open. Yeah, 
opening the door is very important. Uh, there are even several books written about that. And it should be inviting and welcoming. Here we have one uh, in a resort and here we have a regular uh, restaurant that is located in a city. Okay. During the lecture, we have uh, talked about the steps and stairs that are kind of thing uh, of interest. Uh, the next like arrangement is the dining area. Dining area is the most important part of the restaurant. This is the place where the guests spend 98% of time. Uh, the, the left 2% is spent in the entrance and in the restroom. Uh, dining area is important and that is why it consists of uh, several additional uh, like spaces. The first one is the waiting area where the new guests wait uh, for an available uh, table. And then there is a seating area and of course the billing system area where the guests can pay or where we can take a card and make and let them pay uh, like via some uh, terminals or tools. Seating area can be indoor, private for VIP guests and outdoor that is located outside. Uh, the waiting area is the area that is not always considered yeah, in a restaurant uh, design, but it is very important because sometimes uh, we have too many like people inside and they kind of uh, occupy all, all the tables, but we still have uh, extra guests who want to go inside. And if we don't have uh, the waiting area, then those people are going to uh, be exactly in the dining area and that can cause some trouble and some uh, bad feelings that can occur uh, within the guests. That is why we need to uh, make sure that we have some space left for the waiting area where the new guests can wait for the table to be ready. And uh, in the other cases, just a space where we can say our uh, like potential new guest that uh, we're sorry we don't have uh, like enough space so maybe you would like to uh, kind of reserve a table for the next time or etc. Uh, the other thing uh, about the waiting area uh, usually in Kazakhstan we can see that uh, the tables are cleaned just uh, in front of the guest that is actually not a good thing to do. Uh, we should I mean, better to make sure that uh, the guest is waiting, uh, is standing and waiting in the waiting area where he can feel comfortable while we uh, clean the table and set it up. So the guest is not going to see some uh, like leftovers of the previous guest. A uh, sitting area is basically the space where we have uh, tables and chairs and it can be indoor and outdoor. Of course, uh, right now during the Corona crisis, uh, we uh, spend a lot of time to discuss and to promote outdoor uh, like seating areas because they are kind of better in terms of ventilation. Yeah, but still where we can make sure that uh, the indoor areas are ventilated well too. So uh, as we said, the seating areas can be indoor, outdoor and VIP. Uh, but what is important here, we should talk about chairs and tables. Uh, the two chairs and tables have can be different size and different dimensions, depending on the uh, like uh, the positioning of the restaurant, basically the target market. We can have uh, the larger size spaces, yeah, or the smaller sizes. Here you can see uh, the two uh, like max like. Uh, extremes. We have the minimum size and optimum size. So uh, whenever we design a restaurant, we should make sure that they will not uh, be smaller than the minimum uh, requirements. And of course, they should be closer to the optimum ones. Here we have tables. Tables can be square, rectangular or circular. Yeah. And uh, the design and what tables we use in a restaurant should depend on the design of the restaurant. For example, in Chinese restaurants where people tend to share food, the round, the circular tables are kind of better. Uh, for the privacy, square and rectangular tables uh, may be the choice, especially the square ones. 
and for the larger groups yeah who want to celebrate something but still want to uh, spend time in let's say a western restaurant not a catering place rectangular tables kind of are to go uh, then of course the billing area billing area is where we have like post terminals uh, different uh, qr or the other tools that are located so this is basically the place where we bill our guests and where we print receipts so the bar is not the thing that is regular in a restaurant but it can act as an attraction so if you have if you if we're talking about the restaurant and it has a bar then bar should be an attraction because uh, the key product there is food and the bar is like secondary but still the bar should be beautiful and attractive for the guest uh, the kitchen is kind of the most important component of the restaurant design because it has a lot of facilities and a lot of things around. Yeah, so the kitchen itself can have a lot of uh, like uh, department divisions. Yeah, for example, the cooking area, preparation area, storage area, cold storage, washing pantry area, and staff personnel area. Here, uh, I'd like to kind of highlight the pantry area. Pantry area is the area where usually the food is prepared for the service. Yeah, so uh, in, the cook in the preparation area, we prepare things, yeah, then we cook them. And then as soon as the food or dish is cooked, the course, we kind of send it to the pantry area where it is prepared for the service. And then it kind of is served. So here we have an example of the kitchen yeah when I, we have covered that before so i'm not going to spend and waste time on that but uh, remember that kitchen is very important and it consists of a lot of uh, facilities and it should be maintained well and it has the key places like the cooking area and the pantry area where we cook and where we kind of prepare for the service then of course we have the place where we store, we wash, and we prepare. And of course, there should be some space for their employees. So the restroom is, uh, again, of course, the restroom is not the place and the space where the guest spends a lot of time, but the restroom is the space that leaves a long lasting impression. That is why we should make sure that uh, there is a soap, that it is clean, it does not have some unnecessary like odors or aromas or scents inside so it is important and it is very important uh, especially right now because uh, nowadays we have kind of a rule that everybody should wash hands and the restroom is the place where we wash our hands so uh, designing restroom area of course is important but right now we don't have much time to discuss that and electrical services is basically all about the services that kind of can be maintained by the restaurant staff. Uh, when we talk about electrical services, we talk about uh, different equipment. We mentioned that we talk about uh, electricity, uh, like lightning. We talk about uh, music, the acoustics, basically. Uh, we talk about post terminals. And uh, we talk about other things that kind of are used in the kitchen and other places but uh, like uh, ac yeah, electrics is not what we cover yeah it should be covered by an independent and by the professional so here we have some uh, additional information about what uh, used to restaurant look like before the current crisis so this is how the restaurants look now yeah uh, the most area is closed and this is maybe how the restaurants are going to look like later on. I hope you are going to cover that yourself. We don't have much time to discuss that. Uh, now I want to share the assignment. So you are going to have three assignments. So the first one, choose a type of restaurant and define its regular arrangement. We mentioned that we have different types of eatery and the place that serve beverage. So I'd like you to choose one and describe it. For example, if you choose bar, yeah, you'll have you 
I'm not going to have like a larger kitchen and etc. Then I'd like you to particularly focus on the dining room and describe how the tables are usually arranged and how comfortable are the chairs. Uh, we have talked and mentioned that, for example, the fast food chains usually do not tend to have very comfortable chairs because they want their guests to stay not too long inside. And I'd like you to focus on that. We also gave an example of the Chinese restaurant. And we said that Chinese restaurants usually tend to have circular tables because uh, they share food and that is the way they consume it. That is why it is kind of uh, very important. Uh, the, the last assignment is to find a few or more than one, basically more than one examples of chosen uh, restaurant type and present the dining rooms. So I'd like you to choose a restaurant and then uh, design a presentation and show us at least uh, two uh, dining rooms and kind of try to compare them. So that's basically it. Thank you for participating and listening to the lecture. I hope you enjoyed it and good luck. Have a nice day. Bye.